Hello everyone, it's Coach Tony, and uh, today we're going to go over what I like to call the shot cradle. Now, in previous videos, we went over how to cradle the ball while running and how to get it to settle in before throwing. So, one of the most critical and I would say the most difficult cradle for anybody to learn is the shot cradle. And the shot cradle is one that is done behind you. So what that's going to do is keep that ball in control while the player either determines where they're passing or where they're shooting. Now when they're running down and shooting, their cradle is inside and then they'll bring it out. And as soon as they bring it out, if they stop cradling, the ball jiggles and comes out or moves in the pocket and becomes highly inaccurate. So one of the critical cradles is like so. So what you're going to do is have your child start with the stick as if they're in the throwing or shooting position. And you're going to have their hands just like we've taught with their wrist broke, their fingers extended, and it's sitting in their palm and in their fingers just like this. So there's two different ways to do it and it's a matter of preference. I like to cradle with my lower hand. So as you can see I'm breaking this wrist and I'm doing a rotation like this while pushing and pulling with my upper hand. Now it's critical that they turn and rotate and the timing is there because otherwise the ball just falls out. So with the ball in, you want to cradle in, out, in, out. Another way to do it is to use just your upper hand like so and you can see that's a bit of a, a more of a, a wrist action and an arm action at the same time. This one, the lower hand stays pretty much loose on the stick allow it and just guiding allowing it to swivel in and out and create that control so what that's going to do is allow for shot accuracy so if they're cradling down at the goal they pull the ball out they give it a cradle back here and shot if you don't do that cradle what's going to happen is is they're going to be here they're going to go like that in the ball. a good drill to practice this cradle and shot is again just to have a pile of balls have them scoop it up, have them extend like they're going to shoot, give it a cradle, shot, scoop up, cradle, shot, scoop up, cradle, shot. As they get more comfortable, you can incorporate a fake shot, which is again why I like to use my bottom hand as the controlling force of this shot cradle, because from this position, I can then so this hand up here is loose, this wrist is grabbing and twisting, putting the, the stick forward like that, and then bringing it back. That's the shot fake. So you have your cradle, shot fake, shot. So cradle, shot fake, shot. Another good drill to have their child practice uh, with this shot cradle is to start with a shot position get the cradle going, have them slide forward, shuffle forward, and when they get up close to it, again, I'll do this in fast motion, have them shuffle forward, shuffle forward, and then bring it in and do the face dodge. Bring it back out, shuffle forward, in face dodge. Out, in. 